So here's a funny situation. What if you wanted to project a cylinder upward? Um, and I'm just going to freehand this um, because we can go through it really fast. Um, one of the funny things about, about circles, right, is that when you look at them in perspective, they turn into an ellipse. Um, and no matter what, an ellipse is always exactly uh, the same symmetrically in every single quadrant, right? So if my ellipse is here, here, I know that this distance has to be the same here. So these two distances are exactly the same. So this is distance A, and this is also distance A. This is distance B, and this is also distance B right here. All right, a little bit of geometry. So I know that uh, this kind of breaks the rules of perspective that we were talking about. So when you project a circle onto a square, you're still working with distance B, distance B, distance A, distance A. <coughs> so uh, if you were to project that, we know that the center, the center would change, right? So if this were the top and this were the bottom of the, uh, of the ellipse, you would think the center would be here you know, and this would be B, and this would be B prime, right? No, it's it's wrong, it doesn't it doesn't actually work that way. It, it, it looks really strange and wonky, right? And that this would be A, and this would still be A. But no, no, it, al it always goes in this sort of thing. So when you're drawing a, uh, a cylinder in perspective, uh, there's, it's always the same whether it's one or two point perspective perspective you're dealing with because you're dealing with an ellipse and then lines receding out to the horizon and then another ellipse, right? So um, that makes drawing ellipses ridiculously simple whether you're doing like a vertical ellipse like that or a horizontal one, it doesn't matter um, uh, that that cylinder is is going to be treated exactly the same in terms of, of its elliptical ends. Um, so that makes things uh, pretty darn simple to deal with when you're when you're dealing with cylinders. Um, the trick is when you draw two ellipses um, uh, you want to make sure that uh, that the B distance is uh, is uh, different each time, right? So, if you're drawing, um, if say this is the horizon line, this is your ellipse right here, then you're drawing a cylinder going above the horizon line, right? You're actually going to use a, an ellipse that's closer to a circle for the top of this, because uh, you're closer you're kind of closer to this ellipse, it's, it's flattened out. Um, so like, uh, for example, if I, uh, if I use this, this cap to the water bottle, right? Uh, here, um, you're looking at the cylinder, like if you were to elongate this cylinder, this would be akin to looking at it like that, right? If you're looking through the bottom, it would be like, uh, it would be like that. But then if you're looking at it at the top, you'd be seeing something like that. So you're getting closer and closer to a circle, right? So if you're close to the horizon line, you're gonna see that. The further and further away you get from the horizon line, the more circular it's going to get, right? Um, but you wanna keep it within reason, otherwise it's just gonna look uh, really ridiculous. So um, <coughs> that's, uh, really all you have to know about um, drawing uh, elliptical solids. Um, they're, uh, they're maddeningly difficult because it is so simple. Drawing an ellipse, you know, just practice that over and over. Um, my, my sketchbooks from art, from art school just have pages where I'd just be drawing ellipses, you know, quickly, carefully, at different speeds, just trying to make, make it natural to draw, you know, draw different ellipses. Um, so give yourself some ellipse uh, practice and, uh, and work on that forever until you get it.